What's up my crypto legends? In this episode, we are taking a look at the Bitcoin price on the four hourly chart. I'm going to show you my exact price target for the next coming days, okay? And it's going to surprise you. Bitcoin might be doing a 20% move to the upside. Remember, I've always been remaining bullish, guys. On Ethereum, we could see this bump and run pattern. This was mentioned also in our Twitter account. So make sure to follow us on Twitter if you haven't yet. And guys, remember, in this video on the 26th of May, we were talking about this potential inverse shoulder head and shoulder pattern as you can see we were in this ascending wedge i was expecting forming a right shoulder guys and we exactly formed this right shoulder bouncing at the 2200 and coming back up to this resistance point guys you cannot get as accurate as this if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe i will give you my technical analysis my view of the market guys so make sure to subscribe and smash up the like button. And if you are interested in trading, make sure to check out the Prime XBT trading platform, guys. It is my favorite day trading platform. If you use my link in the description and Bitcoin Center 50 as the promotion code, you're getting 50% in addition of what you deposit. You deposit $10,000, you're getting five thousand dollars on top of that to trade with guys we will be also taking a look at ada because ada is looking very very nice here we might see ada hitting all-time highs very very soon guys let's go straight into the video Hello there, Andy here, and welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Census, where you subscribe for the quickest technical analysis of Bitcoin, crypto, and the financial markets. I'm not a financial advisor. Don't buy or sell anything that I say. If you do so, do your own research. I said this. Let's go straight into the charts. All right, zooming in here on the Bitcoin price, we can see that we are in this symmetrical triangle breakout. Everybody's talking about this. Is it a breakout? Is it a fake out? Well, guys, I am going to remain bullish. I do think we are breaking out from here, and we are going to go to the 42,000 and even to the 47,000 in the next few days okay why $47,000 this is the next major resistance point and why you may ask well let me just zoom out here okay quickly and I'm going to show you with the VPVR on top of the $40,000 range all the way up to the $47,000 there is a huge gap here on the VPVR this meaning that there is no volume traded around this area in between the $40,000 and the $47,000. Bitcoin has had massive jumps from this area. As you can see, once we dropped the $47,000 area right over here, we actually came down very, very fast in just a few days. So I am expecting this move to the upside, maybe not as fast, but we will be getting there in a few days, in my opinion, the $47,000. Uh, this is the next area that I'm expecting. Um, we got a little bit of resistance around the $42,000 range because we can see the peak here. This was the peak in uh, January when uh, Bitcoin did all-time highs, the 8th of January. We broke out of this resistance and then bounced here, as you can see nicely, and then continued to the upside. So this is a very small resistance and it's actually here looking at the VPVR where there's less volume. So we should be breaking out the $42,000 range quite easily okay i'm expecting breaking out from this uh, next resistance the forty two thousand dollar and then you know converting it into support and meeting the forty seven thousand dollar range i am in a swing trade at the moment i am planning to exit at forty seven thousand dollars because it is also the neckline okay of this huge head and shoulder formation there is several ways to look at this and i can see this as the shoulder okay with a little bit of volatility but we can clearly see it is major support okay this is the forty six thousand eight hundred dollars and this being like a double head okay so this would be one head and coming down and meeting this resistance the support level at the forty seven thousand just below the forty seven thousand okay and creating the right shoulder so this is how i can see this as a head and shoulder formation which means that the next major support okay a breakout from a head and shoulder formation they uh we usually come and retest the neckline. So this would be a retest of the neckline and we might get a huge rejection and then a major drop from here. So this is what I'm expecting here for Bitcoin. I am going to exit most of my position once we arrive to the $47,000 range. It might be 46,500, it might be 47,500 or depending on the price action. So this is what I got for Bitcoin. I do believe that we are breaking out. We have bottomed out here on the short term. 
everything is looking extremely bullish breaking out this symmetrical triangle wait for the confirmation also when um, the stock markets are open but I do think that we will be pumping for uh, for the next coming days let's take a look at ethereum because ethereum is looking extremely bullish guys remember this was expected on the 26th of january uh, of may sorry i was talking about in my video this formation okay of then inverse shoulder head and shoulder pattern this was a very high possibility and we actually did this move very very nicely as you can see we actually bounced exactly at the 2200 dollar range now let's take a look at this bump and run scenario. Also, here I've taken the VPR out because just after the 2,900 to the upside, we can see if I close up here to the VPVR, you know, the volume suddenly disappears all the way to the 3,200. So we can see a massive jump here for Ethereum all the way to the $3,200 range where I have this next orange support, okay? It's been support right over here, support right over here. So it will have some resistance, okay? If we break 2,950 now, which would be the neckline of this inverse head and shoulder formation, well then guys, we are going to have a decent pump to 3,200 in my opinion. Now, the measured move from this bump and run pattern, okay, that was mentioned also on the channel, it's on our Twitter account, so make sure to follow us there. I post um, different technicals there also. And um, yeah, the measured move is getting the lower part, okay, to the neckline and from the breakout over here, as you can see, um, this should take us just below the $4,000, $3,800 to be conservative. And the measured move from this head and shoulders, getting the bottom here, of the head to the neckline, okay, and from the breakout, this should take us at this very similar target. So expect Ethereum below the $4,000, 3,700 to be extremely conservative. Okay, with the next major resistance, if I um, get a, a line here just below these two levels, would be about the $3,700 range, okay? Um, so yeah, if you want to be conservative, I think 3,700 is a very good place to take some profits just below here, this um, this support level, okay, right over here, you can see support here, and yeah, just round about this area, $3,700 range. And guys, remember, if you want to take advantage of any of these moves coming, make sure to check out the Prime XBT trading platform. If you use my link in the description, and Bitcoin Sensors 50, you're getting 50 percent in addition of what you deposit you deposit five thousand dollars you're getting two thousand five hundred on top of that so you can trade with guys um so this is what i got for ethereum it is looking very very bullish just about to break the neckline from this inverse uh, head and shoulder formation so yeah nothing bearish to talk about this also breaking out from this resistance of this bump and run yeah, we can see a little bit of volatility. Don't get me wrong, it's not gonna be going up in a straight line, but everything is looking extremely bullish. Let's take a look at Cardano, guys, because also ADA is looking, wow, look at this. We are actually breaking out while I'm recording. Not a huge amount of volume. This is the four hourly chart. Okay, let me just zoom out here because we did have a huge ascending triangle, which is bullish pattern and we finally broke to the downside. We did have a fake out, okay? A lot of people must have got stopped out here. I did not take this trade. I took the trade once we broke this inverse head and shoulder formation here for ADA, because um, I saw this as the neckline, the support of this inverse shoulder and shoulder, and I placed a trade right over here from this breakout, uh, bouncing at the $1.55 range and I exited at two, five. Now, what can we expect here? Well, we are in this ascending triangle. This is also bullish, but be careful, guys. We need a clear breakout. I expect a 190 ADA with some volume, and then this could be a legit breakout. You wanna trade the breakout of the breakout. Um, so this is what I got for ADA. It is looking extremely bullish. This is a an ascending triangle. We can clearly see the resistance just breaking at the $1.80. We can see resistance there, there, okay, resistance here, here, and now we are breaking out, creating higher lows. It's just looking very, very bullish. The measured move from here is getting the bottom of the triangle all the way to the resistance from the breakout. We should be meeting all-time highs for ADA very, very soon. Maybe in a few days, maybe in a week or two, guys. But it is just the, the chart is looking very bullish, and this is a reversal pattern. 
Okay, this is what I got for today's episode. I might be doing a live stream, so make sure to subscribe to the channel and smash up the like button. You'll be helping out the channel immensely. And if you haven't checked out the Bitcoin Census website, there's a link in the description. We've got all sorts here, the latest news, exchange reviews, so you can see the best fees and bonuses available, guides on how to buy Bitcoin, how to trade Bitcoin. There is all sorts here, the latest articles. Can there be a possible surge in BTC price after Miami conference? There's a link in the description, so you can check that out. If you haven't seen my Prime XBT or my Bybit tutorial, there's a video popping up on your screen. Massive thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.